about pasta. See what it's about. All right, guys, so we just got to our Airbnb. I'll show you around. It's pretty cool. It's like a two level split thing. So we just got in, we're gonna go caffeinate up. We are three hours behind from Grand Rapids where I live. So we're gonna go caffeinate, but first I'll show you around. All right, so this is the first little, just kind of like main seating area. It's cute. So much light. This is like all windows, but it's super bright right now. So this is just kind of like the main floor area. Nice TV. And then we head up the stairs. And this is the second floor area. So this is more of the, oops, the actual living space. So we have a little kitchen here, the bathroom there, and then we have the bright light bedroom. Cute. All right, we walked around for a while. Now we're going to dinner at John and Vinny's in Car Fairfax. You guys recommended, where's the door? Recommended this a lot. So pizza, pasta, see what it's about. Good morning guys. So we are on day two of our trip. Last night we went to John and Vinny's for pizza. We almost didn't get a table, but we got one. It was a whole hullabaloo, but yeah, it was really good. I feel like that was like my perfect pizza, like the crust. It was the perfect amount of like chewy, yet like had like a nice crisp to it. Mm, so good. And I was just really in the mood for pasta too. So that was delicious. I also felt like I reached like the perfect fullness level like I was definitely at the point where like it was so good I could have kept eating but that would have made me uncomfortable when you learn to eat when the food rules when you become an intuitive eater it's easy to recognize satisfaction without going way past fullness and I always kind of describe it as like what yes it is kind of sad when you get full and you get to that point of realization but anything like you, when you read a good book, when you finish a Netflix series, like it is going to be kind of sad when you reach that end point, but there's so many more opportunities that you can have and what like kind of playing it out. Like, okay, so I get too uncomfortably full. Like, how is that going to impact my vacation? Probably not great, right? I'm not going to be able to enjoy it as much. So we're thinking about things in a different way, right? Anywho, so today we are kind of having like a moseying day. So we, I've been up for a while. I've been having coffee, reading. We stopped at Trader Joe's and got some snacks here. I usually get hungry early in the morning. So we have some like yogurts, fruit, bars, those kind of stuff. So we'll get something to eat before we go. And then we're gonna pick up some coffee and then we're gonna walk down to the Grove. You guys recommended that a lot. So we're gonna go down there and just kind of mosey around. And I don't really know necessarily what our plan's gonna be. Tonight we are going to dinner and whatnot and I'll fill you in on that I don't really know we're gonna maybe stop at a donut place bakery just kind of like hop around I think that's our plan is not necessarily any like kind of like grazing throughout the day we're gonna have like a little food tour so stay tuned and I'm excited for that so we spent the morning just moseying around and then we had to go to Sidecar Donuts. You guys heavily recommended this place so we went to see there see if it lived up to the hype literally when we walked in it smelled so good and we decided to go with the butter and salt donut it was one of their most popular my first thought was the texture you guys it was like so melt in your mouth so i agree these lived up to the hype i would highly recommend going so then we walked over, you guys basically gave me all my recommendations. We went to the Grove, which is kind of like a fun little shopping area. And then we hopped over to Erewhon. I hear about this place all the time, so I had to check it out. Just kind of like a health food store, but we did pick up a wrap there. It was really good. It was a banh mi uh, salmon wrap. Not, not bad. Oh my gosh. This morning was good. So we literally just walked around. It kind of grazed around all morning and went to all the places that we wanted to. We walked around the Grove, which you saw in 
yeah, we just kind of grazed around all morning. It's interesting because I'm also posting stuff on my Instagram stories uh, as we are here. And someone asked me, because last night I posted about the pizza that we had. And I was like, I reached like perfect fullness. And then someone asked me like, what does perfect fullness feel like? And it's interesting because I thought about that because today perfect fullness felt differently. And I think that's something just to think about hunger and fullness is so much more nuanced. So yesterday I wanted a more full point, but today, since I knew we were grazing, I didn't want to necessarily get as full because it was kind of like a constant stream of food that was coming and I wanted to have some room to enjoy all of it. So just something that I was thinking about. It's more, it's not a static thing. It's going to ebb and flow how much you need and how much your body needs. So that was this morning. I'm pretty hungry right now. We're gonna get a snack. We bought some stuff from Trader Joe's to have at the Airbnb because we're gonna plan on going walking around. We'll see where we go, but I, I need some some more food. So we're gonna grab some. We just got like some dip, chips, um, carrots. So. We'll have a mix of that kind of stuff and see where the afternoon takes us. All right, snackage. Got some chips, some Trader Joe's spinach dip, carrots, and then leftover pizza. I also got these because the kid next to me on the plane was eating candy and I was really jealous. So I picked up some of these. So in the afternoon, we ended up walking around the Hollywood Walk of Fame, which was kind of interesting. It was nice to just kind of experience it. That took a while, and then really, we went home and got ready to go to dinner. We are headed to Sir for dinner tonight. Yes, that was influenced by me watching Vanderpump Rules. So I was most excited to go to Sir of the Vanderpump restaurants, really all the dinner restaurants that we went to. And it, the ambiance was really great. It was really greatly decorated. We got a beverage, the fried goat cheese balls, which were great. And then I got the, it was a special, I got lake trout and then another beverage. And we just kind of walked around. Guys, this place, West Hollywood is hopping at night. All right, guys, happy Sunday is officially our last full day here. We are going to go to Sierra Trading Post. This is okay. Pause. I just watched that back and I said Sierra Trading Post and Melrose Trading Post. Edit the plan. We'll see if it happens. We're going to go to Sierra Trading Post that was recommended by a lot of you guys. Looked up. It's pretty cool. I think it's like a flea market-ish thing. Then we're going to go to Earth Cafe, U-R-T-H. I'm a little nervous it's going to be busy and we won't be able to get a spot, but we'll see. I looked. I don't think they take reservations, so cross your fingers. And then we're going to head down to like Rodeo Drive, more Beverly Hills area. So I'm excited about that. And then this evening, uh, we'll check in later and we'll kind of do a recap, but that's what we've got going on tentatively for the morning. Before this, I showered and everything, I was hungry. I think I told you guys this yesterday. We stopped and got some snacks. I am typically pretty hungry in the morning. And even though I know we're going out to breakfast later, slash brunch, I knew I was gonna need something this morning. So I had some yogurt, some berries I put in it, and then some leftover pizza. And when I had first asked my husband if he wanted anything, he said no, but that doesn't invalidate my hunger. I feel like when I back when I had food rules, I would have felt like self-conscious, like, oh, well, do I really need anything? Yes, your hunger is valid even if someone else doesn't have it. I'm excited to get the day started. Let me know, you guys. I, this is the one of the first like full vlogs that I've done, like multiple days in a row. So let me know if you guys like this. If you want to see more of these, let me know. Please leave a comment below and let me know what your thoughts are. I'm also trying a new like microphone video system. So let me know on that front if we're feeling okay with that. But with that, okay, I can't multitask. So I'm going to go do my hair so we can get on with the day and get to it. So we first went to Melrose Trading Post. I finally got that name right, which was cool. It was like kind of a big flea market. And then we walked over to Earth Cafe, highly recommended by you guys. It was a cool little place. They had a huge menu. I got this toast, which had poached eggs on it and salmon, which is like my heaven, so good. Then we walked all the way down to Beverly Hills, which was a lot of fun. It's a totally different world out there. And then I was also super excited to go to Salt and Straw. When you walked in, it was just like intoxicating. And you know, I love my ice cream and this was top notch, you guys. I am absolutely dead after all of that. It's so much hotter today than it was yesterday, but that ice cream hit the spot. So just gonna kind of relax here until we decide what we do later.
All right, it is our last night here. What did we do this afternoon? Walked around to the Greystone Mansion. We couldn't go inside, so we kind of just looked at it and just kind of relaxed a little bit. I finished my book, The Last Mrs. Parrish. Pretty good, not exactly what I was expecting, um, but it was good. So now we're going to dinner. Well, we're gonna go to drinks at Tom Tom, and then we are gonna go to dinner at Pump. So we started at Tom Tom, which had a really cool environment, and we got some cocktails there, which they're known for. And then we went over to Pump and had dinner. We had a cocktail there again, and then fried calamari, which was good. And then I always get things that I can't make myself, so I got the seared ahi tuna. Wasn't the best I had, but it was still a good experience. All right, last morning here, we are going to just grab some breakfast slash brunch. No, it's still pretty early. We're gonna do that and then go to the airport. So we went to Mel's Diner, which was a really nice change of pace from the other places that we have gone. It was just super casual and I'm a sucker for chicken and waffles. You guys know this. So Avi, that's what I ordered. And then when we were out, I had a really strong craving for cake and we stopped by a bakery. All right, guys, obviously I am back home now and I hope this was a fun vlog for you. I really want to know what your guys' thoughts are in the comments about these more just vlog living life kind of things because my goal is always to show you guys what it looks like to live as an intuitive eater. And I think that for me, this was definitely a big thing that when I was dieting and I had my food rules, I couldn't have done, right? I would have been micromanaging everything. The restaurants that we went to, they didn't have nutrition information, but I know how to trust my body. I knew how to listen to my hunger and fullness. So I didn't feel guilt or stress or anxiety enjoying that more indulgent, delicious food in a way that also felt good to my body. So for me, I feel like that's why I do what I do here on this channel. Yes, it's nice to eat the delicious ice cream. Oh, that salt and straw ice cream was so good, you guys. That's great, but that's not why I do the work that I do. That's not why I post YouTube videos. That's not why I help my clients in the society learn how to do this step by step. Why I do it is so that you can experience life like I did on this vacation. So whether it may be inspired you to pursue food freedom yourself, or maybe it gave you some inspiration, or maybe you learned something from it, or you just got some recommendations the next time you go to West Hollywood, LA, Beverly Hills area. I hope that it was helpful for you in some way, and it just shows you that I have been in your shoes too, where I never thought this was gonna be my reality, where I'd be able to go on vacation, eat what I want, not stress about it, not have to feel like I had to, you know, cut back when I came home. I've literally just been eating normally. You guys, I picked up crumb, actually, I worked the day we got back. I had my husband pick up crumble cookies because I wanted them, right? There is no diet. When you learn to become an intuitive eater, you learn to live with no food rules, it becomes easy and vacations are an excuse to binge. You don't have to cut back when you get back and that is so good when you can have that mental space back and make memories and live your life without stress. So I really wanna hear what you guys think about this vlog. We haven't done one of these before, so I wanna hear all about it. But like I said, I hope that was helpful for you guys. And as always, be sure that you are subscribed to this channel, especially if you're like, yeah, Colleen, I wanna learn how to become an intuitive eater. I want to learn how to go on vacation and just live my life like you do without stress, anxiety, or guilt around food. You just found your favorite channel. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, do all of the things Lots of education here to show you exactly how to do that. And like I said, I will be back next week with another video. So I will see you guys then. See you later.